now. Let's get into so Soldier Luca versus WFFLS. Yes, for sure. I believe uh, chat's informing us that's pronounced Waffles. So we got Waffles coming Waffles. Up here. Waffles, that makes sense. Yep. Versus Soldier Luca. Let's see how this is going. It looks like it's May versus Faust. Oh, interesting. I, I'm not sure how this matchup goes, but... Uh, yeah, it's definitely a little bit of the uh, the unstoppable force versus the immovable object. Right? Absolutely. Oh, and a big punish on that uh, on that whip command throw, but of course he has to get out of that immediately. But this pressure's still going to start up, but... Waffle's showing he's not afraid to match a little bit. He, he, you know, sometimes defense isn't all about blocking, right? You got to show your opponent you're willing to check some approaches. Absolutely. You got to make sure, hey, you're going to try all your stuff, but here's the thing. I'm not always going to respect you. You better respect me, too. Yeah, respect is a thing that has to be earned. Absolutely. And now with this throw, got a PRC just to get the kill. Very smart getting that kill confirmed. On to be on round two already. Yeah, speaking of earning, Waffles making quick work, earning that first round victory there. Let's see if we can keep it going. 6P whip, Soldier Luca using the double jump to get the punish on the attempted anti there. A nice counter hit, but it's not going to lead into much. However, Waffles is using all these air approaches very nicely. I think that's uh, jump 5K, correct? Uh, or the, jump 2K. Is, uh, yeah. yeah, it should be jump 2K. All right, just had someone on the side making making sure to tell us that there is free pizza and free drinks on the side. Yeah, if you're, last. Reason, you're watching the stream while you're here at the venue, but. Just did. All right, well, while we made that announcement, Soldier Luka took round two, on to round three already. Waffles a little bit behind on his burst, but Soldier Luka already using it, and very nicely using it offensively. Just like he said, finding that 5-H counter hit would have led into a lot more, but unfortunately, no conversion on that. Yeah, 5H still, despite how much they burnt and nerfed that button, still one of May's best uh, tools to go for in the neutral game there. Just so active, right? Makes it so you can't oh my really trust anything when you're cornered against her. Now, see, that's what we call footsies. Well, uh, Soldier Luka, knowing that that hitbox ex uh, extends with uh, Faust Scalpel and using that to use the 2S to punish right there. Yeah, tried to use the VRC to react to Scarecrow mix, but unfortunately, uh, made a little bit of a misjudgment there, so ends up getting hit regardless. Oh, that Dolphin getting out of that pressure right now. It's a very, very close game between these two. Almost basically the same life. There's a throw from May, though. No, TG getting the cross up low. Tricky, tricky. To take the first game. Yeah, good stuff, Soldier Luca. Right, looking a little dicey for him at some point. Yeah, this is where it's popping, huh? Yeah, well, we're gaming, dude. Exactly, bro. All right, still. All right. Oh my oh God, round our five H. You don't want none of that. I'm gonna put a stop sign right here. Yeah, early. You ain't moving. Definitely don't blame him, right? Because especially when you get those air hits and the five H counter hit. Oh no, I'm wow. too slow. Not quite able uh -oh. to stop him from meeting. Yeah, I got you. Waffles had to press the button there. He could not, not he could not let that 6H go through. That would have been a really big counter hit if things bet went wrong. Yeah, but Waffles, Waffles chucking stuff right now. Absolutely, getting a really good pressure. Those jump 2Ks really working out and covering that aerial space and covering any of Soldier Luca's approaches. But the uh, the jump throw from Soldier Luca. Uh oh. Alrighty, yeah, waits a long time to get that meaty throw in, but it's gonna do quite a bit of grip here. Oh, off the wall break at that fully charged 6H. Yeah. Gotta be careful still. Nice air call out from Waffles. Getting the PRC. Unfortunately, a little bit too late there, right? Uh, Soldier Luca with a little bit too much run momentum to get command grabs, but doesn't matter. He's stuck in the corner against Faust. A really hard situation to get out of. <laughs> and the bomb just disrespecting both players once that round ended. On to round two, though. And the. Was that round start or was that a. That was a 2D. Two, yeah, okay. Yeah. I was about to say, I get confused with all Faust's puns because I, I don't usually yeah, see them. The puns where he just kind of lays on the floor and just kind of swipes the dude. Oh, I love oh that. wow. The wire seats very, very smart. The mini Faust army. And making sure to keep that corner advantage. Getting the command throw is going right, to be the to, wig. Yeah, has to be careful. 50 50 here. Either one should kill. Uh, a little too slow and it, able to react to it. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. I stopped the combo a little bit early, so she didn't get the combo. And but, that is game two for Waffles this time. Yeah, good stuff. Like I was saying, man, that corner, when you get cornered against Faust, it's super it's hard. It's super for you to get weird, out. yeah. Yeah, it's just, he just covers so much space, right? All the normal escape routes that you would take against most characters just aren't really, uh, you know, options against the character. Not a really conventional uh, corner game that you can just uh, try to predict, like something like Soul or Giovanna. Yeah, you're, you're really so, working out, you're looking out for items, looking out for those jump 2Ks. We're looking at just a different spot. It, that you can weirdly so, mash in. It's less so about the pressure and more so about the space that he occupies. Exactly. Very, very good place. All right. Oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh he got hit by everything. Hit yeah, by everything. Oh, yeah, but he was plus on the wake up there, so he managed to mash out. Oh, big counter hit to Tugeki. Already corn that east, that coast to coast carry. Oh, you cannot up back, sir. Not against me. Oh, it's going to be just a uh -huh. lot of pressure, a lot of meter on deck. Yeah, he's dead. Uh huh. 
Uh, don't even need the other meter, big man. Yeah. Optimization. Oh, Zuka, right? Managing to mix up between the plus frames and the frame traps, right? And just running just a really solid pressure game to be able to take that first round. Absolutely. Already putting the corner once again. So just look at finding all these good all these good confirms this game and just really being able to pressure waffles into the corner. Yeah, finds the command grab to break the wall now. Working with the positive bonus, but doesn't get the back dash on this command grab. Put that wig on him, that's gonna be really big now. Oh, it blocks the gold burst with a really big punish on it. No real confirms, but those straight hits still rack yeah, up a lot of damage. He's waiting for a reversal super or something like that. So when he saw the gold burst, he wasn't quite ready for the uh, punish there. Oh my god, what? Well, I do not understand the option there to immediately, uh, immediately super after the, uh, the overhead kiss. Yeah, I think he wasn't uh, really aware of how close the wall was to break. He'd rather just get the immediate wall break. Big that counter hit. Big counter hit, but no, uh, no conversion off of it, allowing Soldier Booker to live again and take that game 2 1. But this is going to be best of throughout the entire tournament ladies yes, and gentlemen go to gear is a very volatile game you want as many opportunities as you can high damage game everyone blows up the point of one button that 6p getting bursted don't want any of that uh continuous pressure and once again both players using those early bursts knowing that if either player gets really in and um in on the other they can really start their game plans and really just start to get hammered down Oh! Again, big counter on the five, uh, six H that time, not hitting the ground bounce, gives him the full combo, and we are going to see the wall break here. Files the positive bonus is a very annoying character to fight. Absolutely. Yeah, let's see if Soldier Luca can navigate the minefield. Oh, oh wow, the six P on the okay. scalpel. So normally that is the thing that's supposed to work. Most characters in the game, if you block five uh, H and they cancel the scalpel, six P is supposed to be a straight up punish. May not really known for having the best. Oh wait, no, it was it? Uh, hey, what, what, is her, what does her 6P look like? Now I don't remember. Now I'm like drawing a black Yeah, no, now no, no, we're no, no, no. That's why it's class. Yeah, yeah. So normally, if you do block that 6H and the pass does go to cancel the scaffold, 6P is a guaranteed punish every time. Absolutely, yeah. So that clash is kind of weird. Either that 6P had the perfect hitbox with the scalpel tip, or something would happen there. But there's a back throw to seal out the, what, second round? Yeah, the second round going on to round three. So you look on the verge of taking this set and sending Waffles to lose his bracket on round one. So one but let's see Waffles can bring it back. Is that he's actually doing a good job of uh, catching on to Waffles with the uh, defensive, you know, tendencies, right? Knows when he likes to go for that is the 6 Yeah, that is the 6 Yeah, I guess it just sucks. But anyways, um, yeah, he really like he really knows when he likes to go for the upbacks, when he likes to go for the reversal supers. So he's he's in his head. It's all about whether or not Waffles can let that happen in the first place. PRC try to get the 60 to win, but no real punish there. Oh, big Totsugeki counter hit, going to that red RC, that scaling yeah. from the new update, really helping out, getting no him first, the three-one. No, yes, good stuff.